Well, good evening, everybody, and you're joining me personally for the first time ever. Well, yours truly, Class Forty Second Peter, here with well, not really an updates video. It's more of an announcements video, basically, giving out well stuff that isn't updates. What else was you expecting? Anyway, now do you like the new shirt? I wore this at college today, and now don't worry. The college I go to have not paid me to do this. But anyway, now before I go into the announcements, a lot of you have probably been wondering up until this point what I look like in human form. Now, I've never done it before on YouTube. I've done it on Twitter, but never on YouTube. And then today I thought to myself, well, I do it on Twitter, why not YouTube? Might as well. And so here I am, showing myself giving out these announcements. But you know the drill. Anyway, now the let's get on to these announcements and shall we? So the first one I want to talk about is my YouTube account is now monetized. Hooray. If you don't know what monetization is, it's basically where you get paid from YouTube to upload videos. In fact, they're probably the only ones that are paying me to do anything right now. But anyway, so, videos I now upload from now on, including this one, will be monetized videos, basically. And you may have noticed that videos starting from the Class M15 with you now have brand new thumbnails on. And that is a really cool thing that you can do with this monetization. Once you've done it, you can change the thumbnails. And that is really cool. And all YouTubers, all YouTube videos from now on will have that feature, including this one as well. I don't know if any of you have seen the new thumbnails, but I'm sure to those of you that watch my channel regularly, you probably will have. But anyway, so there's the monetization thing out of the way. I thought it would be best to get that one out first. Now, Twitter is coming on really good. I have, at this point, 66 followers. I know what you're thinking, Jed. I would like to get more, but then at the time of when I'm doing this video, filming it and putting it on YouTube, I probably will have more, or maybe even less. But I doubt it. I now also have 251 subscribers, but I want to get to 300 because as soon as I do, I will upload a special video. I'm not going to tell you what it is because I simply don't know haven't decided yet but there will be one trust me well and I would also like to get to 500 as well but for now I'm aiming for 300 which is good and also this year will be my sixth anniversary on YouTube wow six years I've been going for now and I'm still going strong producing this fab content if that's what you want to call it and there will be a video of my 6th anniversary but I don't know what to do. Last year I did two special videos. One was of a archive footage of Class 47's basically from my young days well not young days, young years should I say if that's what you want to call it. And the second special video was basically me showing off the current Class 47 fleet I have which I will come on to later And basically running them on the layouts. The old layouts, I should point out. But I don't know what to do for this year's. I know it's only January. Because there's like... Four months, is it? So, you know, it doesn't stop me from thinking of ideas, but I don't know what to do. Shall I do another archive footage video? A review or just a standard video and labeling it as six anniversary I don't know what to do yet although speaking of May and I've already mentioned this before and this is something that I'm really proud of because this is what I will be doing is this a Seven Valley Railway footplate experience course and this is the information pack which I got for my birthday Now, it's going to be a rather belated birthday present, but it will be worth it. 
and there will, hopefully, crossing my fingers and my toes, so I can't see, well, you can't see my toes, there will be a video, guaranteed. And also, something that we will be doing is taking a photo next to the locomotive that I'll have driven and putting it under the photograph, which you can't see at this angle. Although, in fact, shall I take it off the wall? Here we go. But this is a photo of my great granddad with the locomotive that he would have driven, which, as you can see, is a class 47. Woohoo! which is my number one favourite diesel and it's numbered D1714 I'd love a model of the locomotive with that number in fact I might buy at some point a BR2 Tone Green 47 and renumber it to that and when I mean another well I do already have two of these in this livery but I'm going to probably get another one of these in this livery and renumber it but anyway, and that's the plan, is having that photo taken of the locomotive that I would have driven, it will go underneath the photo where my great granddad is, with the locomotive he would have driven, which I think is really cool. But anyway, also the snow is more or less here, it's gone now, it's melted, thank god, pardon. Well, you know, to be fair, who likes snow, apart from kids? In fact, this morning it was snowing and raining, which is unusual, but then the temperature was a bit like that. College has not changed much, it's still the same. I'm not going to tell you what college I go to, but I will tell you the days I'm doing. Monday, which is the four day. Tuesday, which is the morning. In fact, I'm on a smaller college on Tuesday, doing painting and decorating. Wednesday, now I usually do a morning, but this Wednesday, on, starting from after half term, will be this thing called enrichment, where we're doing Wednesday afternoons, and I've chosen to go to the gym, which isn't bad, but I would likely like to stop on for just the morning, but you know, I can't complain, can I? Then there's Thursday, the full day off, which I get, so no college, and then it's again full day. Friday when that college fall down. Which isn't bad, you know. It might change after summer, but I don't know. So anyway, oh, in 2013, which is now finally here, I do have plans for this year. I'm just putting away this steam locomotive driving course pack away in a drawer. In 2013, what I want to do is visit preserved railways that I haven't been to. Last year, the only one I did visit was the Zeppelin Pali. But this year, I want to visit those that I haven't been to, which is Keyflingworth Valley Railway, Great Central Railway, the West Somerset Railway, and the North Yorkshire Moors Railway. Some of you may, some of you may be thinking, well, why not the Swanage Railway or the Watercrest Line? Well, not just yet. That's probably a thing for the future, but this year what I want to do, I will still be visiting the Seven Valley for the steam driving course, as I've just mentioned, and the steam dryers that they're doing autumn and spring. But I do also want to visit the Keith Linworth Valley, Great Central, North Yorkshire Moors, and West Somerset as well. So I think that'll be really cool. And I will be doing it, hopefully, again, fingers crossed. And that's more or less it for the announcements. Now on to model-wise stuff. Batman still haven't released their 2013 range yet. Sorry about that. And if you can hear the whirring noise in the background, it's just the computer that I have on. Basically, ready to get this video edited. Once I've finished filming it, basically. Going back onto Model Boys, Batman still haven't announced their 2013 range, although what they have announced is a train set to celebrate the birthday of the London Underground, which comes with a London Midland livery pannier and a few wagons and a brake van. Now that's a train set. I won't be getting it, 
But what I might do is get a London Transport Livery Pannier, which you can get separately, just the loud guy, and do a review of that. But that won't happen just yet. Because, you know, there's other things I want first. Also, Hornby's and Nord Northern Bell items, I s well, they still haven't been re released yet. <sighs> but, I have heard a rumour that they are being released after June this year. And so, if they are, then I will definitely get them. Also, Hornby's 2013 arranged, I've seen that. And I will be getting some stuff from that. There's the two bill EMU, which is coming out this month, actually. There's the 2013 Raglan, of course. The GWR Shunter's truck. A 12-wheeled dining car in maroon livery. There's also the Eurostar. And the reason why I'm getting the Eurostar, you may ask, well, I'm really starting to like them now. Well, actually, I've liked them since I was a little kid, but, you know, I've liked them a bit more now. Especially since they're in the new livery. Also, there's the A4, a local driven one, which is Domino Canada, with the bell on top. Basically, it's one of these A4s that they're releasing to celebrate the Great Gathering this year at the National Railway Museum. Which I wouldn't mind going to that, actually. But I would have already had a local driven A4, which won Commonwealth Australia. But due to a mix of hands, I didn't get it. And that's how I got always came out for Class 56, basically. I also did plan to get the Class 56 as well, in BR Blue Large Logo livery. But I'm not going to get that now, now that I have 56 L4 L Oyster Mouth in Lava Lake Grey, which I'm more than happy to have. Also, I'm still after a BR Lava Lake Grey Class 20. <coughs> Excuse me. By Batman, of course, with the Domino headboard. Haven't found one yet, but I'm still on the lookout. And of course, there's the Stafford Model Rail Exhibition, which is the 2nd and 3rd of May, and I will go to it. Last year it was on January, which was the 1st, 2nd and 3rd, I think. Can't remember, but it was in January, definitely. You, I'm sure by now, will have seen the video of it. And there shall be one of it this year. Of course. Also, the Class 47 fleet I've currently want to expand a bit more. And there are a few more 47s that I want. Obviously, I do want to get a BR2 Tone Green one, another one, and renumber that to D1714, which is the one up there I've just shown you. There's also the Class 47 in Ralph Lake Grey. Which is number, hang on. So the number of the Ralph Lake Grey Class 47 is 37301. And that is another one that I want to get as well. Also, there's 47710 Sir Walter Scott in the BR Scott Royal Livery. Plus, I wouldn't mind having a Class 47 in the BR Blue. Because I think they're very nice. There's also Res. You know, the... Parcels are in grey livery, basically. And also, there's the Northern Bell livery class 47s, 47792 and 47802. Which, again, still haven't been released, but they are due to, as far as I know, according to a rumour, at the end of June, basically. Which is interesting. But anyway, so now, new models, oh wait, before that, I'm also after another Batman Class 37. However, this time I quite fancy the one with the flushed fronts. You know, basically, if you don't know what I'm talking about, 
say 37706, that has the full shrink basically. And the plus 37 that I will probably get is, well, either the Valphite Grey, Luffy 1, or the Petrolia Sector of Blue, which I think is a nice livery, but I don't know, but I am after another class 37, preferably one from Batman. The V-Trained ones, they're alright, but Batman, I don't know why, seem to be better. But anyway, now then. New models, some of you may be asking. Oh, I do have a new model, which is here, which is a Hornby Class 31, a new one. As you can see, well, I hope you can see. <laughs> and it's in the Civil Engineers livery, or to some of you, known as the Dutch, basically. And this was purchased from S&J Models, which is a really good model shop. I really do recommend that you go there. And this has been bought to replace the Lima Class 37. Sorry, Class 31. Class 37. Ugh. I don't have a Lima Class 37. And this is going to have its own rank of wagons to pull, which are the sea carriers, also in the same livery. The plan is to get a rank of 10 sea carriers for this Class 31 to pull. So far, I have already ordered three of them which i ordered last week and i'm still waiting for them to arrive and they were ordered from train traders uk and they're weathered which is really nice and there's a special reason why i'm getting wagons in the same livery to go with this class 31 but that will be announced in the review which will not be out today but that will be coming up soon but just not today because i am busy And, well, that's basically about it, really, to be honest. Other than the fact that still not much work has been done on the layout, I think so. The station is still under construction. I have been re well, I've been fixing some of those Metcalf buildings that were already built but got damaged in storage. Which reminds me, I've still yet to build the ones I got for Christmas. And the tracks still need to be ballasted and scenery needs to be put down. But that's all I can say for the layout. So that's basically about it, to be honest, for this video. So thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you again soon.